talk about pronunciation. Now, uh, look at this phonetics chart. It's got all lots of funny symbols that uh, represent the different sounds in the English alphabet. There are lots of different sounds. Mm. Uh, today we're going to look at these sounds here, the TH sounds. Okay, There's, there are two symbols for the TH sound. Now remember, in English, almost always the TH is pronounced with the TH or the TH. Okay, so let's get it right and let's use it because we need it. The word can change the meaning if we get it wrong. Mm. Okay, so there are two different types. The first one, we're going to call it the unvoiced or the silent TH. Now, first of all, we need to get the position in our mouths. Your tongue needs to come out of your mouth and you need to blow. Now if you want you can put your finger to your mouth and your tongue must touch your finger. Okay, or another uh, exercise you can do to make sure your mouth is in the right position is you can hold down this part of your lip and then stick out your tongue and blow. You must be sure to be pronouncing th and not th or v or t. Okay? Your tongue has to be out of your mouth and then the pronunciation will be perfect. Okay, let's try the th, the unvoiced th. If you put your hand here, you can uh, you can feel the difference between the voiced and the unvoiced by the vibration on your throat. So when you do, there's no vibration. You try. No vibration. Let's practice using the unvoiced TH with these words here. Listen and repeat. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Three. Careful, it's not f it's not free, it's three. Good. All right. Thirty. Thirty. Great. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, notice all of the words with the number three in it. 3, 30, 13, okay, the 3 has the TH, 3, 13, 30. You must be very careful to not confuse it with the 4, 40, 14. The difference between 30 and 40 is 10 euros, okay? You don't want to be paying 40 euros when the price is only 30. Remember, it's important. Great. All right, let's carry on. Thing. Thing. Very good. Keep that tongue out of your mouth. Think. Think. Great. Thursday. Thursday. Okay, I once had a student who got confused between Tuesday and Thursday. Mm, sometimes we missed our lessons. Oops. Okay, um, sometimes the TH, the th, can be in the middle of the word. Let's try nothing. Nothing. Good. Mm, what about birthday? Birthday. Careful, there's a th in the middle. It's not birthday, il giorno dell'uccello. No, it's birthday. Repeat, birthday. Okay, great. Um, sometimes the th sound can be at the end of the word, like in mouth mouth. Good. What about tooth? Tooth. T. 
teeth, teeth, and with, with. Great, you're doing good so far, excellent. Hey, we're ready for our first challenge. Let's see if you can use these TH, the silent unvoiced TH, the th sound in this following sentence. Are you ready? Read the words and repeat after me. I think Beth is traveling north on the path. Great, all together. I think Beth is traveling north on the path. You got it. All right, let's try another one. You ready? I'll eat anything healthy with my teeth. Okay, all together. You ready? I'll eat anything healthy with my teeth. You got it. Excellent. Let's move on to the voiced TH. Now the position of your mouth is exactly the same. So your tongue is touching your finger. But instead of a silent we're going to put some voice behind it. So you should feel some vibration. Your tongue is still in the same position, but there's a vibration behind it. Oh, makes your tongue tickle at the back. All right, let's try these words. Listen and repeat. This. This. Good. That. That. They. They. Them. Them those those these these the the okay once again the th can be in the middle of the word let's try these ones brother brother be careful it's a the not a v, brother, brother. All right, good. Mother, mother. Yes, father, father. Other, other. Excellent. Let's try words with the th, the th sound at the end of the word. Smooth, smooth, breathe, breathe. Excellent. Right, now you're ready to challenge yourself. Can you repeat this sentence with some different th sounds in it? Are you ready? That mother can't breathe. Yeah, not too bad. Let's try again. That mother can't breathe. All right, now here's another one. I rather like this weather. I rather like this weather. Nice. Okay, be careful. It's not weather. 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 Right, now let's mix them up. I'm going to give you a sentence and I want you to try and decide which ones are the voiced th and which ones are the unvoiced th and then try and pronounce it. Okay, read the sentence. That thing over there. Did you get it right? Cool! 
formula. Let's read the next one. Go. Those three things. Did you get it? Of course you did. All right. Thank you for those things. It's this Thursday. It's this Thursday. This Thursday's fine. This Thursday's fine. That's the teacher over there. That's the teacher over there. It's 33. It's 33. There are 13 of those things. There are 13 of those things. All right, you got it. Good job, well done.